Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this week's PC feature. Last week we featured Project Reinforce by 50mm Case Mods, a really nice stunning orange themed build. And this week we are featuring Project Biohazard. I know you guys are going to love this one. And this is built by Alex SN. Remember, you can look down in the description. I'll leave their Facebook page there if you want to check out more builds. But chances are, more of their builds will be on the channel shortly. So let's begin. Unfortunately, in the specs, the case was not given, and it's hard for me to tell which case this is. If any of you know, please leave a comment down below. But what a piece of art this is. A rusted old look, and it screams biohazard all over. Perfect naming behind this build. Just look at that liquid cooling there, all by EK Waterblocks, bringing the tubing to the outside. You don't see that done very often, but he's got the reservoir on the top and then making the tubes go back in with some through panel fittings, which I really do like. But the build does not stop there, guys. We have a keyboard and mouse to suit this build, so we got the whole setup looking really nice and sharp and matching each other and if you look there in the background you can see that he's actually shattered the panel window which looks really great and suits his theme dramatically lots of panel details and rust effects here and there lots of airbrush work just to bring the whole theme together and i really like the use of the soft tubing inside i'm normally not a fan of the soft tubing but in this instance i am a massive fan and if you see down in the corner there, you can see that he's actually painted his cable sleeving to match the theme of the build as well. So overall, a really nice design, so let's get into the specs. Powering this bad boy, we have the ASUS ROG Maximus 6 formula, the ASUS ROG GTX 780 Poseidon GPU, an Intel i5 processor, 4 8GB sticks of DDR3 Corsair Vengeance RAM, a 250GB SSD from ADATA, a 120GB SSD from ADATA, and of course the liquid cooling by EK Waterblocks. Now before you guys go in the comments and say that the specs are not up to par, this rig was built a couple of years ago, back when all of the hardware was high end. Anyway guys, let me know what you think about this build. If you did like it, please leave the video a like. Maybe even leave a comment down below. It always helps us out, gives more feedback for everyone, and helps us to brainstorm ideas for future projects. Perhaps even share the video if you are keen, and we'll see you guys next week for another PC feature.